Scene five, we're over here at Drew's home with her mom and her um, grand sister, I guess. So on top of being my manager, she's also been kind of like a second mother to me at times. Allison was definitely like a momager, sister. <laughs> so when she stopped being my manager, it made it hard, you know, for me to really take charge of my career. When you went away, you know, like I just didn't know, you know, anything about what you were dealing with. The first time I went. <laughs> Cause this lady look like she about as old as her mama. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That wasn't nice. My sister is amazing. She has been managing my career since I was eight. She was a television writer on Amen, Martin, Rock, and worked at William Morris Agency in the literary department, ran Wesley Snipes Company. She worked for Johnny Carson Productions. So she did amazing things in her career. By you not being my manager, I now understand what it has taken for you to steer my career. I don't know if she been taking Ozempic, cause y'all know, I said I was gonna take some Ozempic, but it caused saggy faces. But I don't know what's going on with her. She looks really old. Uh, and I don't know, maybe her mom, you know, had a child later in life because, you know, women do do that. So maybe that's what it was. I don't know. But her sister definitely rocking on the, on the agey side. Um, but Allison looks like her mom um, to me. But I was thinking, you know, what if it's some family secrets? What if Allison gave up Drew because Allison had Drew too young or couldn't wasn't ready for a baby and was like, here you go, mom, and gave Drew up to Allison. See, see, I write scripts, y'all. I love writing scripts. I got a lot of scripts that I be writing. I like to write scripts. I like to write stories. And so I have a vivid mind. Like, I be thinking a lot about some crazy shit. And so I was just thinking, like, what if Allison done been given up? I mean, what if Drew was given up by Allison to uh, Pastor Jeanette? And um, and what if Pastor Jeanette is Drew's grandmammy? What if that is the case? This, I mean, it's possible. It's possible. Drew, have you ever seen that birth certificate? Have you ever seen a birth certificate? Uh, anyway, um, Drew the type that'll take anything, though, honey. You tell her something, she believe it. Oh, okay. Um, until somebody bring it to her attention and she feels betrayed. When you should have had a more insightful eye. Stop being so optimistic. Open up your eyes. Where was your antennas when them niggas were stealing my shit out the stove? I didn't see him taking anything. You didn't see him taking anything. Well, look next time. Use your eyes. They ain't supposed to just be hazel. They're supposed to do some goddamn work around here. This ain't for play. I don't do this for fun. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. Oh, be careful. Oh. Pay attention and see. Leos are optimistic. Tauruses are very optimistic. They're more optimistic than a Leo is. Um, anyway, Drew said her sister is like her sister, her manager, and that's what I'm saying, okay? Family secrets, family secrets, okay, y'all? That's what I'm talking about, family secrets. Um, so I was very taken back by, taken back by Drew's, um, explanation of, you know, her and Allison split up about, um, Allison going through COVID, having a hard time, having a total mental breakdown. First time I went into the psychiatric hospital, all this stuff started coming up. I don't even know if you know all this. The guy I dated at 22 and he beat the crap out of me. That started having me have bad dreams and anxiety and PTSD and like Allison stopped managing me at the beginning of COVID right when she had her mental health break. Just more times I wanted to go back into the hospital. It's like you guys are just moving on with your life and I'm not there. Allison, you can't think about that. Breathe, please breathe. Because I am going through a transition that you did let me come and stay with you. I think this time I just wanted to do whatever I could and fight for you to make sure you had whatever you needed. Like a lot of people, uh, my sister definitely reached a mental health break in the midst of COVID due to all the isolation. Allison, you can't think about that. Breathe, please breathe. She just was in no stable condition to handle the workload that my career commands. And it was really most important for her to focus on herself and her healing. We never got a chance to just be sisters. I was always working and I just wanted to like, just be sisters, yes. you know? Yeah. That was the first time. And then my sister was admitted into a mental facility for the second time. So now I just want to be there for her more than anything. It's what's most important to me. Um, I really, it made me think a lot like, wow, that's sad. 
um, because you know what? Um, I felt like I went through the same thing during COVID. Like I was very nervous, very paranoid, very scared, very anxious. Um, and I was just like, dang, people are dying left and right all around my neighborhood. I recorded people like being taken out on a stretcher in a body bag and old people. And I'm just like, oh my God, people are dying left and right. I didn't care that it was old people. I, th I knew that it was young people too. And it was more old people than young people, but it was still scary. And more fat people than, you know, smaller people, but it was still scary. You know, I was tr tremendously scared. Uh, very scared and um, people oftentimes forget when things are better let us not forget how much we were scared and paranoid and praying and hoping that everything was okay and crime rate was down tremendously um, because everybody was just terrified and scared let us not forget <laughs> Lord have mercy. Jesus, we done made it to the first interview with the pandemic, honey. It's been very challenging. You know, for a moment, I just felt like the world stopped. And my family and I were home quarantined in Los Angeles, afraid to go outside. Well, the state of the world has completely changed. We cannot travel. We cannot socialize the way we're normally used to socializing. We cannot do anything. It's almost like we're imprisoned in our own home. It actually got to be really quite depressing for me. The world is just turned upside down. Not only do you have the pandemic, but then at the same time, you also have the injustice against African-Americans. And it's just hurtful. Y'all want people to cry at the beginning of their interview day? This is terrible. But yeah, Pastor Jeanette might be Drew's grandma. We never know. We never know. Yeah. Allison is 20 years older than me. Mm. That's a hard one, brother. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit that bell so you can be notified every time we go live, post a video, or post a post. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Also, check out our podcast everywhere podcast can be heard. I heard radio, Spotify, Apple Podcast, Google Podcast, and more. Just search the Urban Binge Radio wherever you prefer to hear your podcast. Follow us on all social media. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, plus more at The Urban Binge. Oh yeah, and don't forget to subscribe to both our channels at Rebel TV and at Rebel TV 2 for more exciting reviews, fun blogs, short films, and more.